Hi guys, I would like to show you how easy it is to have a multi-language text in your project. So download the language localization from the asset store and just install the package. Uh, as you can see uh, in your project view, uh, you have a directory structure here. Uh, go to the scene, uh, language localization example, scene, scene, and open the language, language example. Don't save. Okay, so just run the scene and you see in the right corner what you should do in order to make this example uh, working. So open menu for year language tool. So go to the Fourier language tool. Uh, okay, you can do it somewhere, for example here. This. Uh, okay, and um, okay, click download from Google Dots. Okay, I'm clicking on download from Google Dots. You should see there our example. Example uh, is here. This is a file name of the open office document that will be stored from your google dots document that means uh, you see here the public key of your google document uh, you can open uh, your google document and directly and you see you see here two lists so one is the localization the second is the menu and these two lists um, um, are in fact uh, two dictionaries. The first one will be called localization, the second one will be called menu. So uh, what has happened? Um, okay, and then click download from Google, click update camera and you are ready to go. So you have to go back to edit mode, click update camera, camera main has been updated. So when I take a look at the camera, you see that there is a, a, there's a script language dictionaries and you see that you can set here a default language for your dictionary dictionaries and that there are two dictionaries localization and menu and their names alias names are menu and localization so exactly as you see them in your google uh, document uh, they are here available for you so uh, now when i press play and press here uh, for example the english and get the text 001 or 002 you see that uh, you get you get uh, the text and you click German and get the text in German you get the text in German and it, it's pretty pretty old uh, uh, one thing uh, when you clicked on download from Google Dots uh, your file has been downloaded and stored in the uh, open office document here uh, this is the settings for language uh, tool please do not delete this so you can edit it ex uh, directly in your open office document for example okay 003 open office okay you, you, you have to save it Close it, close it, go back. And now what you have to do is just press o ODC to TXT. That means, okay, uh, that your dictionary will be created in resources dictionaries. And uh, you see here, 001, how, hi, how are you, open office. Yeah? That was the change we made in the open office. But be careful, because when you download it from the Google Docs, the open office document will be uh, overwritten so that means uh, you can choose work either work on the google and uh, primarily only on google and uh, use just the open office documents just for checking that everything is there correctly downloaded and also that your txt files has been uh, correctly exported and or uh, you can just work in with your uh, local versions uh, of OpenOffice, but then be careful to do not press to download from Google Docs or from download or download. Otherwise, you will uh, um, delete your data. Yeah, that's all. 
So it is so simple. Uh, you can take a look uh, at the script. Uh, it is calling um, um, get text. So first, uh, language select language uh, is uh, private. Uh, it's a public variable, a public property that you can set. And you see, I'm setting here to English and here into German, and that's all. Uh, uh, you don't have to take care about initialization of your dictionaries or uh, memory management. Everything is done pretty you know, behind the scene. So, and when you get the text from the um, from from dictionary, you just call language dot get text, and this is the name of the dictionary. This is the ID, and this is the um, default value. So you can put here hi, for example. If the if this ID won't be fine in in the dictionary localization, so. And, um, okay, we can try it by putting here something that doesn't exist. Okay, save it, run it. Okay, you see, hi. Okay. And empty or not found because your language hasn't been set. So, okay, and now it's working. Or you can select here, for example. And that's the default one. And now you see the selected language is E and the default name, and you get the text. Okay, that's all. And uh, we hope you will uh, enjoy our tool. And please give us feedback uh, if you need to. Okay, bye bye.